Hi, hey, it's Sexy J. Quick and dirty time, we're going to be doing the transition questions because you guys asked for it, so you can get through those. And also, I have great news for you guys. As you know, go to thesatycrashcourse.com, use the code STUDYJ, all caps get 20% off, but wait, there's more. I've actually been working on 810 videos, that's a lot, right? To get you guys answer explanations on the first 10 tests on the website, so you don't have to go to some random like written thing. No, you will get the explanations using my tips and strategies. So that's a really good reason to use that code, right? And 20% off is a good deal. So going back to this question, uh, this is from this one, uh, Khan Academy. And the transition questions, you wanna first um, categorize it into contrast, okay? So that's the one we're doing today. And the contrast questions are going to be done like this. I am looking for the word um, that means contrast, of course, yeah? And because of that, since I already told you guys what type of question it is, you can probably guess the answer, but stay, there's more. Because we're not here to just answer the questions, we're here to learn how to do them. So the word that I'm looking for here is, um, we have he, you can actually get it here, he typically. So this is not just limited to the transition questions. If I have an SAT passage, and in the first sentence I mention typically, or commonly, popularly, widespread, traditionally. All of those words are so that I'm setting up a contrast, okay? So I already know from SAT pattern, just from the, from the word, typically, it's gonna be contrast, why? I set up, this is the common thing, and then I go, but here's something different, that's just the pattern. So from the word, typically, we have, this is what they normally do. And then here, we have, for this film, he did some unorthodox. That's the other key word here. Orthodox means the common, the traditional, what everybody does. Unorthodox means something unusual. Now to unpack it a little bit more, we do have, he typically uses traditional, but in this one, he used some unorthodox. We also have traditional instruments, and here we have unorthodox digital. So therefore, I do know that this is contrast, and out of these answer choices here, however, is the only one that is a contrast. And just to give you guys the background information, we will do the other types of transitions, of course. There's going to be contrast, um, there's going to be emphasis, and there's also going to be um, the opposite of contrast, which is just additional support, okay? So those are the big categories. Today we're doing contrast. So you may say, well, isn't this really an easy question then? So is this, is this one of those short videos? Just, okay, I start with typically traditional, then I locate the unorthodox and digital. So it's a contrast, so the answer here is however. Sure, and even though this is an advanced question according to Khan Academy categorization, however is the answer. But, here's my own contrast. However, because it can be used so broadly, you can use it in almost any contrast situation, they will vary it up and they will give you other words besides however for the contrast that are a little bit more difficult to recognize, okay? So that's the second half of this video. So let's look at let me zoom that in and zoom to here. This. This question, I've actually had a teacher message me and say, well, I know the answer here is supposed to be um, contrast, but we have however and we have nonetheless. Those are synonyms, so you can't have them as the answer. That teacher is wrong, okay? I don't know who the what the teacher's name was, but the teacher is wrong, okay? Because there are a number of clues here. Number one, nonetheless is a much more specific version of a contrast. Okay. And however, is a broad version of a contrast. So you guys know from the other videos, especially on the reading, if I have an answer that is specific and I have an answer that is broad, go with the broad answer. Nonetheless, is a type of however. So if I have those two, you take it out, then you go with however. That was literally the lesson I was trying to teach with this question. But some people just go, oh, according to the dictionary, they're, synony they're not even synonyms according to the dictionary, okay? So with the word however, be on the lookout for other ones, but if I have however, this, this video we're focusing on the word however, right? If I however and another contrast as an answer choice, and it's a contrast question, you go with however because it's the broadest. And this question is actually from the SATCrashCourse.com, so I made this question. So we have here that um, nonetheless I am saying doesn't fit, right? And this is going to be my next series of videos. We're going to be going through, okay, so specifically, besides the word however, how do we have differences in all of these contrast words? The first example being subsequently, no, nonetheless, here. However, you can use it anytime, whenever you have any type of contrast. Nonetheless, when do you use nonetheless? Like, think about it. Okay, you guys don't use it in real life, right? It's not really that common of a word in day-to-day -day English anymore, okay? Nonetheless has to be something I just said 
decreases the likelihood of what I'm going to say now. Nonetheless, I did it anyway. Okay, so it has to be that specific context. So it has to be, um, we prepared a lot for this party. We did everything we could. We spent a lot of money. Nonetheless, we were worried. That works because you would think normally, if you did all of that preparation, maybe you would feel ready. Nonetheless, I felt nervous. Okay, so that's the context I can use nonetheless. However, you can use it for any contrast. It could be like, um, I wanted to play professional basketball when I was younger. However, I am five foot eight and seven eighths. Okay, so that's a contrast because I wanted to play basketball, but since I wasn't tall and also I wasn't that good, I couldn't. But I cannot use the word nonetheless there. You see how deeply I'm getting into this? Okay, because you have to know the words besides just dictionary Google definitions. Okay, because if I say it like this, I wanted to play professional basketball. Nonetheless, I was five foot eight. That sounds really weird, right? Yeah, because what I wanted to play in basketball or not has zero impact on my height. It's not like some like evil demons were like, this kid wants to play basketball, let's make him short. That didn't happen, right? It didn't affect each other. So you cannot use nonetheless. And you can look at the text here. You cannot use nonetheless here. So you go with the more broad type of contrast. So the answer here is however. And what is the content here? I didn't even look at the problem because the problems don't really matter that much. So we have, they proposed a thing due to limitations, they couldn't provide concrete evidence. Yeah, okay. So very common um, pattern, right? Scientists thought something, but because of limitations technology, they couldn't get evidence. So that fits with however, right? So just take the concept from today, guys, of contrast words. The broad answer goes with however, and then what if however isn't there? Then we will be able to recognize the less obvious contrast transitions, which will be covered in the next two videos. That's my plan anyway. So thanks for watching, guys. Study every day with Sexy J. That's the best way you already know. Bye-bye.